for sodium chloride, the sodium ion would be Na plus. I got that off the location on the periodic table. And the chloride ion is negative 1. So it's only going to take one sodium and one chlorine to balance. So my formula is NaCl, and it's Aq because it's aqueous. The next reactant is barium nitrate. Now barium is on group 2A, so that has a charge of 2 positive. Nitrate is a polyatomic ion, NO3, which has a negative 1 charge. When I'm balancing this, a positive 2 does not balance a negative 1. I need another negative. So I add another nitrate. So that means it takes two of these nitrate ions to balance out one barium. So they list one barium and in parentheses NO3 and outside the parentheses 2. And this is aqueous. So my correct formulas would be NaClAq and barium Ba parentheses NO3 2. When I'm trying to determine the products, it's helpful to go back to breaking them up into their ions. Sodium chloride, as we showed earlier, is sodium ion and chloride ion. The barium nitrate is one barium and two nitrates. What's going to happen is this is an exchange reaction. So the sodium from sodium chloride is now going to combine with a nitrate. So my products, I'm going to show down here, when sodium, positive 1, and a nitrate, negative 1, come together, I get the formula NaNO3. Now I don't worry that there were two nitrates to begin with, so they don't think that that means you have to have two to end with right now. Right now we're just writing the formulas, and formulas are based on ionic charges balancing out. We can go back and add coefficients to correctly balance to follow the law of, math, law of conservation of mass later. The next substance is going to be from barium combining with chloride. So if I have a barium which has a 2 plus charge and a chloride with a 1, it's going to take me two chlorides to balance out that one barium. So my formula is going to be BaCl. Two. So now if I go back and look at just the formulas, aqueous NaCl and aqueous barium nitrate form sodium nitrate and barium chloride. Now I can go back and balance. On the left hand side, I have sodium, chlorine, barium, and the nitrate ion. I'm going to keep NO3 together instead of listing them out separately because it's an ion that appears on the product, on the reactant and the product side. So for my reactant side, I have one sodium, one chlorine, one barium, two nitrates. To the product side, one sodium, one nitrate, one barium, two chloride. So I start off sodium's balanced. That looks good. Chlorines need to be balanced. So I don't need just one. I need two. So I add a coefficient of two. And that's not only going to change my chlorines, but also change my sodiums. So now let's go back and make the product side have two sodiums. To do that, I put a coefficient in front of sodium nitrate. Now I have two sodiums, and that's also going to go down and make me have two nitrates. So now if I look, my sodiums are balanced, chlorines are balanced, barium's balanced, and my nitrates are balanced. So the products would be two molecules or two moles of sodium nitrate and one mole of barium chloride. The next thing we have to do is to start thinking about what's aqueous and what is a solid. Remember from your solubility rules that anything connected to a nitrate is going to be soluble or to a sodium. So that would be Aq, aqueous. 
with our rules with halogens, they are soluble unless they're paired with silver, lead, or mercury. Barium is not silver, lead, or mercury, so this too would be aqueous.